Shalom, giving all praises to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakah, Gash. Double honor to the elders of Great Millstone who told me this truth. Shalom, La Bakariam, Shah, Yasharallah. That's peace to the hopeful elect, starting with the 144,000 on down. Now, this thing is heating up, you know, as it's supposed to. You know, um, right now, as we speak, it's what, 537. You know, you got planes over us. Um, this war that's going on down there in Israel is affecting planet Earth as it should, as it should, you know. Um, but um, as we speculated, you know, um, knowing the prophecies, Russia is behind this, you know. And, um, you know, you smell something fishy in the air. This is a strategic plan planned out by the top elites to get this NWO started. Don't think this is by accident done out of emotions or retaliation like they putting it out in the news. Nah, because it's uh, sinking. The Titanic is sinking so quickly that this got to be orchestrated. So we watching this thing, man, because it's picking up steam. Now, will this lead into... What we need to see as far as that CBDC and a pushing forward with that MOTB because all they need is that word nuclear bomb has went off in the Middle East and the planet is going to stop. But yeah, this thing is at a rush and we knew that um, it will boil down to Iran which is fueling this thing and Russia which is behind Iran eighth okay US moves carrier strike group to eastern Mediterranean the United States has begun moving USS Gerald R Ford carrier strike group to the eastern Mediterranean this includes the US Navy aircraft carrier USS which means America is now involved okay Gerald Ford or CVN-78, the Ticonderoga class guided missile destroyer or guided missile cruiser, USS Normandy, as well as the Arleigh Burke class guided missile destroyers, USS Thomas Hudner, USS Ramage, USS Kearney, and USS Roosevelt. We have also taken steps to augment U.S. Air Force F-15, F-16, and A-10 fighter aircraft squadrons in the region. The U.S. maintains ready forces globally to further reinforce this posture if required. Okay, so that's the, the key statement right there. The U.S. maintains ready forces globally to further reinforce this posture if required. Guys, this is just an initial deployment, okay? Uh, the U.S. is going to have to get involved because there's already been four American citizens killed in this war, okay? And there's a lot of Westerners that have been taken hostage by Hamas. Hezbollah is already involved in this war. Iran is uh, threatening American forces in Iraq if uh, the U.S. gets involved. So what happens if all of a sudden Iran launches an attack on U.S. forces in Iraq? We're going to have to get involved. We're going to have to annihilate uh, Iranian bases and nuclear sites, okay? Mm. And if you remember a couple of months ago, there were all those B-52s that people saw over Long Island flying towards the Middle East. Guys, all it takes is a few B-52s to just completely annihilate all uh, Iranian bases and nuclear uh, facilities, okay? So, guys, this war is out of control. It's escalating by the minute. There's so much information coming out. I can't keep up with it. Let me read to you some of the latest information that I have. So U.S. military. So as you can see, the forces is preparing, you know, we enter the, uh, the age of the day of dawn, the second coming of our Lord, Yahweh Shahamashiach, you know, and um, the Lord has proclaimed war throughout these militaries, man. Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles, right? Prepare war. And that's what you're going to be hearing. Battle, war, war cry, 
generally war, battle, fight, war, war, the preparing, the heathen, the Goya, wake up, the mighty men, you're going to the mighty men, right, Gabor, or Gabor, right, the strong, the mighty, it's a masculine, the strong men, the brave men, the mighty men, the Lord's about to get into it, the violent men, strong men, the champions, the Lord about to get into it, man. We in that day, we in that serious day when Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is about to reign. This is the collapse. You're seeing it. That's why the prophecies mean so much right now because you're seeing it. You're witnessing it it's in real time. And you best believe this happens, right? Right after the emergency alert <laughs> this week. The emergency alert was Wednesday. Russia did their um, their simulation of a nuclear attack on Tuesday, which was the third. Then Russia did emergency alert on the fourth, which was Wednesday. Then America does emergency alert. Two phases, telephone as well as radio and TV on the fourth. Then on the fifth, America passes out iodide pills. On Saturday, this Saturday, which would be what, uh, the 5th, 6th, 7th, 7th or the 8th? I don't know where we at right now. I don't know what day we in. Okay, today is the 8th, so that was Saturday, which was the 7th, which was Putin's birthday yesterday. Putin launches off a nuclear test into the sea. I think the Satan 1 and Satan 2. One of them bombs, but it was a serious test yesterday. And then later on that night, which will be the morning, Israel breaks into all out war. Now it's heating up to where you're going to hear nuclear, uh, it might, it, it's going to be some type of bomb threat. Now, could this lead into the false flag they need? We don't know. We watch it, man. <laughs> Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles, prepare war. Wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. Beat your plowshares into swords. A plowshare, these are these are farming tools. You know, tools that you will use to, to cultivate. Right? Agriculture. Instead of the money that Iran was spending on its citizens, don't get it twisted. Them Persians, uh, you know, they living good over there. But they were developing weapons for the past 30 years. So Iran got something called missile cities. They're heavenly weaponized in Iran. So much that Russia got to make that alliance so Iran can send them over some of those uh, heavy artillery missiles, man. You understand? So everybody's been preparing China. It was a time when China was known for bike riding. Now they're up to electric cars and they're top superpower next to America and Russia now. When did that happen? So the whole stage was being set up according to prophecy. And time dictates prophecy. So every day you wake up, what's the day? The seventh, right? What's the day? The eighth. Today the eighth. Tomorrow when you wake up on Monday the ninth, there's another click. Another tick tock on the clock closer to the second coming. The world don't know because they're not into this. This is not for them. But we know because we're watching for the coming of our Lord. So it said, beat your plowshares into swords and your pronging hooks into spears. Let the weak say I am strong. And that's them speaking now. Shit, they putting, they putting America's back up on the ropes. China was considered to be weak at one time. They thought they broke the Soviet Union, man. The Lord put hooks in their jaws and turned them back. Assemble yourselves and come, all you heathen, and gather yourselves together around about. Then, uh, then cause the mighty ones to come down. That's why you're seeing so much UFO action. And the UFOs, you trust and believe, they refereeing all this, so... You know, there's no serious missile going to be shot off into that final prophecy that's going to put your faith to the test 
which is that MOTB. You understand? That Revelation 13, 16, and 17. That's on its way. That's going to be in the mist. That's going to be the fuel to this fire. The thread to put everything together. So we watching this thing, watching this closely. Because you trust and believe they at the end court. And this is the year that all prophecies be fulfilled. And look how the Lord, he's stretching out. We got, where we in? October, we got October, November, December. We got 90 days, less than 90 days, whatever. Before the clock turns over for them into 2024. So yes, things are about to speed up, man. So the Lord is causing our mighty ones to come down. Let the heathen be weakened and come to the valley. And this is the point, right? Right here. Let the heathen be weakened and come to the valley of Jehoshaphat. For there will I sit to judge the heathen round about. Now, where's that valley of Jehoshaphat? Okay. That's down there in that east, man. And let's go into, when you go into this word valley, a low land, an open country. Okay. And Jehoshaphat, Jehoshaphat, Yah Yahweh has Jehovah here, but it's Yahweh, Yahweh, the existing one, Yahweh, Shapat, judges, govern, to judge, to vindicate, to punish, to punish. They come into the land of punishment, man. Straight up. Inflict a penalty or sanction on someone as a retribution for an offense. Y'all about to pay, man. You Edomites, you other nations for touching the apple of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah's eye, the Israelites. You so-called Negroes, Hispanics, natives throughout North, Central, South America and scattered throughout the rest of the planet. They got a transgression to pay for, man. And that's why this thing is so exciting in this movement quickly okay it says um check this out let's get the uh location let me see here okay symbolic name of the valley near jerusalem so all this is going to be gathered down to the valley of jehoshaphat when you read through it some history yahweh shapat that area you understand in the middle east symbolic the name of the valley near jerusalem which is the place of ultimate judgment maybe the deep Ravine, which separates Jerusalem from the Mount of Olives, uh, though which the Kindren, the Kindren flows. Now we go into this, uh, this the Kindren. <coughs> Look, this is the Kindren Valley right here, man. Okay, the Kindren Valley is a modern name of the valley, originated slightly northeast of the old city of Jerusalem which then separated the Temple of Mount from the Mount of Olives and ending in the Dead Sea. Beyond Jerusalem, it continued in a generally southeastern direction through the Jordan Desert and the West Bank. So right in that area. And you can also find the Fertile Crescent down there, right? The Levant, okay? Reaching the Dead Sea near the settlement of Ovent, and descending 4,000 feet along its 20-mile course, okay? So this is the valley. This is the area that the Lord will be gathering these nations. And will he use this conflict here to get this done? Whew, let's hope so, man. You know, we hastening, man. We we, 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 we want Yahweh Shah back, man. We want the righteousness restored. We want the pledge restored, man. We want the second covenant you know, we went out, out at this time. So, yeah, it's getting, uh, it's getting heated. Personnel located in the Middle East have been placed on high alert. Okay, U.S. military personnel in the Middle East placed on high alert. Uh, according to the United States, the ground operation in the Gaza Strip will begin in the next 24 to 48 hours. That's right. Look at this shit, man. At iBuyDirect, oh. our virtual hey, try-on lets you find the perfect pair straight oh. from your device. iBuyDirect.com. And Gamora. And uh, the uh, Israelis spoke at the UN Security Council 
and they said that Israel does not intend to discuss achieving peace with Hamas. The task is to destroy this movement. Um, and this was uh, stated by the uh, permanent representative to the UN, uh, Gilead Erdin. Okay, he's the Israeli permanent rep to the UN. He said the era of talking to these savages is Ooh. over. The time has come to destroy the Hamas terrorist infrastructure to completely wipe it out so that such horrors will not happen again. Okay. So strong words, man. Tension. We can feel it in the air. So, you know, call up Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Bashim HaKudash. You know, the Lord make these days few and short. We about to come into a very, very aggressive time. Akim Akwath. You know, what we've been taught by our apostles, starting with the apostles, starting with the elder apostle Tahar on down, is real. So all the lessons, the supping, the teaching, you know, the stressing, you know, prepare your your your, your home, starting with your body. Get your house in order. Developing that relationship with Yahweh Shah Mashiach. It's all about to count right now. May Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah be with the Labakarium. You know. I got a feeling like. <laughs> Going into 2024, man. This thing is going. This thing is going to be real, man. I mean, the reality that you shaped and formed for yourself is about to be shattered. Giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakaha, Kodash. Double honor to my elders. The elders are great millstone. Shalom.